Hello everyone and welcome to task number two. In this task, we are going to cover the fundamentals of artificial neural networks. And please note that we covered already some of the basics in the previous couple of days, but today we're gonna dig a little bit deeper because we need to understand how artificial neural networks work because we wanted to visualize it afterwards with all the tools that I discussed in the previous task. And please note is uh, today's uh, lecture is, I would say in the intermediate level because we're gonna be some math and some as well, a little bit of advanced uh, uh, topics as well. <clears throat> if you guys remember in the previous task, we have been able to cover the project card and demo as well. We learned that we are going to understand deep neural networks and how to visualize the various layers and architectures. And we also went through a couple of demos showing tensorspace.js. We also showed you guys the TensorFlow Playground and the Ryerson 3D visualization as well. All right, so let's get started with just a quick introduction. Um, and I'm gonna start with an article that has been published by CNBC, and I have it open here. And essentially it discusses that Elon Musk is war warning everybody about the dangers of AI and that what's going on right now is that we're creating an immortal dictator, essentially that we will never be able to escape from as humanity in general. And I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and read it. It's super powerful and super interesting to, um, to read. And what I'm gonna do right now is I wanted to show you guys kind of a reminder of how to build just a basic single artificial neuron model. If you guys recall is we, uh, in order to build just a single neuron, we assume that we have bunch of inputs, input one, two, and three. We had also a bunch of weights as well. And we have a bias signal too. And what we do to build that basic artificial neuron model is we substitute in this equation. We say, okay, Y equals two F, which is our activation function F. And then we multiply the inputs by the weights and then the input by the weights, input by the weights. So essentially we multiply one times 0 0.7, three times 0 0.1 and four times 0 0.3. We end up with 2.2 and then we apply a function or an activation function F. And that activation function is essentially here in this example is a unit step function that could generate either zero or one depending if the input here was negative or positive. And basically what we learned out of this example is we can actually come up or make a decision. So the output could be zero or one, meaning, well, based on the features, based on the input, I can say if that patient has cancer or not. Or if let's say if it's a self-driving car, I can say if there is, let's say, a car in front of me or not, and so on. And what I wanted to show you guys next is, if you guys remember, instead of having a single neuron, what we did is that we built a multi-layer artificial neural network. And that's why I wanted to cover the fundamentals right now, because I wanted to show you guys how to actually visualize it using Google TensorFlow Playground. So what you guys see here is we have multiple of these single neurons, and then we organize them in a layered fashion. So we have a bunch of inputs, here we have a bunch of hidden layers, and then we connect them together. And essentially the process of AI training is the kind of the attempt to try to find the matrix of weights. All what I'm looking for when I'm training AI models is think of it as it's a massive optimization type problem. We are trying to find what are the optimal values of weights, which is this matrix here, just a bunch of numbers that can map the inputs to the outputs. That's all it is. Okay, all right. So uh, the next point that I wanted to uh, show you guys is there are different types of artificial neural networks. And please note that in this course, I would primarily gonna focus on the first two types and we're gonna ignore this type for now. So the three types are as follows. First one is what we call it feed forward artificial neural networks. The second one is what we call it convolutional neural networks or CNN for short. And the third one is recurrent neural networks. And as I mentioned, we're gonna focus primarily on visualizations. And when we build also our models, we're primarily gonna focus on these two types of models, the feed forward and the convolutional neural networks. So uh, please note that I'm gonna cover CNNs or convolutional neural networks today, and we're gonna cover it in great details. But just from a very high level, feed forward artificial neural networks 
it's essentially we are grabbing all these different neurons, connecting them in a multi-layered fashion, and we call it feed forward because the direction of the data just flows from the input to the output in one direction. And we can essentially use these type of networks to do classification type problems or to solve classification type problems and to solve regression type problems as well. And please note that this type of net neural networks, these are the similar to this one here, which is what we covered already. And I'm going to show you guys how to visualize it in TensorFlow Playground today. Okay, the second type of networks is known as convolutional neural networks. And these type of networks work really well with image data. And that's where we are gonna use tensor uh, space.js and also Ryerson 3D visualization to visualize all the different layers in here, all the different convolutions, pooling and all of that. Don't worry about it. We're going to cover it in great details today. And the last type of networks is known as the recurrent neural networks. And they are essentially used to cover what we call it temporal or time information. So essentially, instead of the data being flowing from the left hand side to the right hand side in one direction, we have what we call it a memory element. We kind of provide the feedback loop from the output back again to the input, and that will help us to predict, let's say, stock prices, to translate text, and so on. Okay, all right. So a little bit about deep learning history. So please note that all these different type of networks are off-the-shelf networks, and they are readily available. And actually today, I'm going to show you guys how to visualize these two types of networks. The first one is what we call LeNet network. And the second one is known as ResNets or residual neural networks. So let me show you kind of a quick history. So we started first with the LeNet that was in 1998. And this is essentially a seven layer convolutional neural networks. It has been developed by a researcher. Um, his name is um, Yann LeCun. And essentially it has been working really well to classify handwriting numbers, just a bunch of numbers. And I'm gonna show you guys today how can we actually build a LeNet network. And then in 2012, we have been able to kind of offer massive improvement over LeNet. And we came up with AlexNet, which is in 2012. And the error has been reduced from 26% to 15.3%. And that's a huge improvement. And then afterwards, it has been ZFNet that was in 2013, and the error was around 14.8%. And then it came by GoogleNet and InceptionNet that was in 2014, and now the error has been reduced to 6.67%. And then we have the VGG network in 2014, and then followed by ResNets, which is 2015. And ResNets are super powerful, state-of-the-art convolutional neural networks has many, many layers, over 152 layers, and the error achieved is at 3.57%, which is amazing, which is essentially superior compared to humans. And please note that again, the two ones here highlighted in red, these are the ones that I'll be focusing on when we visualize our networks today. Here, there is a great article, a great resource for you guys if you guys wanted to read a little bit more about different architectures. And now it's time for our reading time and quiz as well. So I included an article for you guys here that the expectation is gonna take around 12 minutes for you guys to, uh, to complete, to read. So here is the article. So it's, the article is by uh, Raimi uh, Karim, and essentially it illustrates all the different architectures of convolutional neural networks. And please note that I'm going to be covering all the CNNs and how they actually work and all of that. But this is essentially kind of a summary of all the different models and their actual accuracy as well. Don't worry about it. I'm going to cover them, the actual um, architectures, in great details. I just want you guys to scan through it, understand what are the type of networks, what's the performance are. But when it comes to the actual architecture and actually what's going on under the scene or behind the, um, the layers, we're going to cover them in great details in the following lectures. Okay, so please go ahead, give it a shot, try to um, read this, uh, this article and as well finish the quiz. And that should simply conclude task number two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In task number three, let's go ahead and start with visualizing feed forward artificial neural networks in GTP or Google TensorFlow Playground. Please stay tuned, best of luck, and I'll see you guys in the next task.